Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Raoul Pepina and I'm a pet portrait artist based in Belgium. In today's video I'm going to show you guys my 5 must have art supplies for pet portrait artists. I really hope you're going to enjoy this video and find it helpful. Now let's get started. The first tool I really recommend you guys it's the slice tool. It is a very helpful tool. I always use it for my whiskers and as well to create some very small details in the fur. For example, to create some highlights in the fur. The slice tool basically just scrapes off some pigment from the paper that allows you to create some highlights. And as well, if you come back with your white pencil like I do in my demonstration, you are going to be able to create even a, high, even a brighter highlight but if you don't want to use the white pencil, it's also okay, as long as you achieve the brightness you want with the slice tool. I use it as well to create some different highlights in the eye. For example, if I draw a pet portrait with a very expressive eye, I'm going to use the slice tool to create a, a medium highlight. I don't want to create a very, high, very light highlight. I just want to create different highlights in the eye to give the eye much more life and as well to make it look very realistic. This tool is very helpful as well if you are creating, if you are drawing pets who have uh, accessories on them, for example, a dog with a leash, you can create very nice effects into the leash and as well very small and fine details who, which can bring the drawing to life and as well give it more realism. And as well if you draw pets who have clothes on them, you can as well create some nice effects and highlights in the clothes and uh, give it a very realistic look. I always use a white pen on top of the slice tool, so after I scrape up the pigment, I come back with my white pencil to make those highlights even brighter. And I love the effect, that's why I'm doing that. But if you don't want that, you can just use the slice tool, you can choose how you do it. But I really recommend using a white pen on top of it if you want to achieve very bright highlights. I always use a white pen on top of the slice tool, so after I scrape up the pigment, I come back with my white pencil to make those highlights even brighter and I love the effect, that's why I'm doing that but if you don't want that, you can just use the slice tool you can choose how you do it I really recommend using a white pen on top of it if you want to achieve very bright highlights The next supply I really recommend it's an embroidery tool and this method is called the indenting method and what it basically does, you need to make some craters into the paper and when you're going to come on top of them with the white, with the pencil I'm going to use a black pencil for this demonstration but you can use which pencil you want, it's going to have the same effect when you're going to come back on top of it with the black pencil or which pencil you're going to use those craters are going to stay untouched this method is perfect if you want to create whiskers so after you drew the sketch if you are going to use the method to outline the whiskers, you are going to save so much time because when you are going to create the fur, you, you are going to be able to draw over these craters created by using this embroidery tool. And you don't have to stress anymore in the future about the whiskers, how, how you are going to create them or what method you are going to use. By using this method, the whiskers are going to stay there always and you just need to draw your fur normally and you can as well draw over it and in the end you are going to have as well whiskers without doing any extra effort so that's why I really recommend this uh, tool the third must have art supply is the Tombow Mono Eraser I discovered this eraser around 2 years ago and I can't stop using it you can do a lot of things with it I mostly use it to erase very dark outlines if the outline is very dark, you won't be able to totally erase it, but it is going to make it look less bad, and you can cover it with a medium shading. I use it as well to create highlights in the eyes, details in the clothes, for example, if I draw a dog or pet portrait with a clothes or with a cap or something, I just use it to create some very nice highlights in them, in the clothes. You can use it as well to create whiskers, but it is going to take more time because if the tip of the eraser is not very thin, you're going to end up with a very thick whisker and you have to correct it with the black pencil. So what I advise you to is to use the slice tool, you can 
you can have a look in my previous demonstration but of course if you want to use the Tombow Mono Eraser to create whiskers it's your choice, you can do whatever you want I was just giving you my advice I use this tool the most to erase some mistakes for example if I drop my pencil and I left a mark on my paper I just press very hard with this eraser and I'm not able to totally erase it but I can make it look not that bad The tool number 4 is a white pen. At the moment I'm using a white ink pen and I'm very glad I discovered this tool around a few years ago. Before that I was using white acrylic but sometimes it was getting really messy and I was really looking for something with a very pointed tip to be able to create fine details and to have as well more control over the strokes. And I found this white ink pen in my local art store and I really love it. Since then I use this tool at every portrait and I use it mostly to create very bright highlights in the eye and as well sometimes in the fur but mostly in the eye and in the accessories of the pets. I advise you guys to use this pen only if you want to create very bright highlights because this pen has a very it has a titanium white color so it is very strong. You can create medium highlights or not very visible highlights because once you put it on the paper it's going to be very bright so that's why I recommend to use it if you want to create a very bright highlight in the eyes and I use it as well sometimes to on the nose to give the wet nose effect my must have tool number 4 for pet artists is the pencil extender a few years ago I didn't even know this exists I was using my pencils until they weren't until I wasn't able anymore to hold them and I was just throwing them and I was feeling really bad because I was wasting money and as well the pencil wasn't very tiny so I, in my head I knew I could still use it but I had, I had no idea what to use for it I remember I had a very very fast search on Google and like that I found the pencil extenders, extenders and after, after seeing that this tool is, exists I went to my local art store and hopefully I found a couple of them they weren't very expensive but they weren't very good quality as well, but right now I'm using the ones from Derwent and as well a few from Amazon. As you can see now, I'm using three kinds of pencil extenders. I'm using the ones from Derwent for my half-sized pencils because I really don't like holding small pencils. So when they reach the half size, I just put them in my Derwent pencil extender. I'm using as well a very light pencil extender and I use it for my pencils which are somewhere between small and half, half sized and as well I'm using another pencil extender from Amazon and I use that one only for very very tiny pencils which are impossible to hold anymore and those are perfect for them and by doing this I also save a lot of money and as well I'm very satisfied that I can use my pencils at their full potential Okay guys, that's all for today's video. I really hope you found it interesting and helpful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to be notified every time I post a new video. I'm posting one time a week and sometimes even two times a week. And if you're kind enough, please as well like my video. It will help me a lot and I'll be very grateful. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. See you in the next one. Bye guys.